Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sky. In this video today, I am going to be reacting to some Pink Floyd Comfortably Numb, their 1994 performance um, performed at the London's Earl Court in 1994. So um, I know Pink Floyd is really known for their laser shows. I've heard a lot of Pink Floyd songs, but I really wanted to share this live performance with you guys. I think it would be really fun to kind of enjoy it, hang out and chill. You guys noticed that I changed my background. I'm sure you have by now, but I just wanted to um, kind of, you know, change things up a bit and kind of make it seem a little bit more cozy and roomy. So anyways, thank you guys again for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. And I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I can't believe you guys are here hanging out with me and um, enjoying great tunes and music. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you spending your time here with me and liking my videos. Again, so much appreciation on my end and so many thank yous from me to you. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this Pink Floyd Comfortably Numb 1994 live performance. Let's get started. And guys, I don't want to pause this video too much. I really don't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> With my editing, I'm not good with a bunch of this YouTube stuff, so uh, please do bear with me. I would love to enjoy entire full albums with you guys, but I don't know how to do that on YouTube quite yet. I can somewhat get songs out there, but uh, please bear with me. Let's go ahead and get started. I love Pink Floyd. They're so unique. So unique so good I feel like I lived a different life in the 70s you guys I, I'm sorry for pausing it but I think I read correctly in my comment section and one of the tool videos that um, Pink Floyd had a big influence on that band and I can definitely see it I, I can hear it um, very very smooth and very like Pink Floyd we all know what Pink Floyd's about I love it I love Pink Floyd they also have those lyrics that just make you think about things make your they make you think lyrics that make you think and they're deep uh, and I know they put on really good shows. I know Pink Floyd's known for that. And I, it may be kind of the same thing with Pink Floyd and Tool with their live performances, kind of in comparison. But let's kind of get back into it. So smooth. Ah, these lyrics. I love all the colors. Oh man. Uh. Oh, I just love Pink Floyd so much. Pioneers. Ugh. His voice. His voice is so good. Oh, Pink Floyd, y'all. Legends. My hands look just like two balloons. Uh. Now I've got that feeling once again. I can't explain you and I. This is such a classic. This is not how I You guys, um, wasn't the composer of this song, David 
wasn't it the um, guitarist David Gil Gilmore, right? Am I remembering that correctly? And wasn't this and wasn't this written by the bassist Roger uh, Waters? I'm pretty sure it was. And uh, this is from their album The Wall from 1979. You guys, I lived a different life. I, I feel like I lived a different life in the 70s. I love everything in the 70s, and uh, Pink Floyd's definitely a part of that. I love this band so, so much. And um, particularly this song is just so unique. And, I mean, it's just, it, it's it's Pink Floyd. It's a, it's a hit, you know. Their albums are masterpieces. And I think it was Phil, I forget your last name, but you're in my comment section saying the same thing um, in one of my other videos. And then um, it is, it is a, truly a masterpiece. I want to listen to them from start to finish, a lot of their albums. Um, because that's the only way I think you can enjoy it. I just wanted to do this live performance and enjoy it with you guys because trying to do a full album is probably going to be pretty rough. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get back into this. Oh, here we go. I took a guitarist. And classic rock, like nothing like good old 70s classic music. It really is nothing like it. Truly, truly a whole different sound, a good sound, a really good sound. settles back down. Uh. Oh man, such a, oh. I love all their colors, they're just so pretty. Kind of like what I have going in, going on. It's just such a good song. And that voice. You are only coming through I can't hear what you say. I need to get a Pink Floyd uh, poster back here. Mm. I feel like I'm in for a treat because that big circle above them, I feel like there's something big going to happen. Mm. That song's so good. Mm -hmm. Ah, how pretty. So pretty. So that is such a cool show. Those pretty colors. Pink Floyd is a vibe, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go get it. Has anybody out there been to a Pink Floyd concert? Uh, 
I just love all those colors. It's, you know, what a trip to be there <laughs> and see all that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hmm. Nobody like Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Come on. <gasps> oh. How cool. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at all of those people there. 1994, y'all. They did concerts right in 1994, for sure. They did a, I mean, jam-packed. Oh, wow. And then he's just doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's the clarity, okay, the clarity. I don't hear a difference from this live performance compared to a studio recorded song. The clarity in the song. Ah, uh, you know how pretty that is. Man. Ah. Uh. Uh-huh. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my god, that is so freaking cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, anybody watching this video, were you there? Did you experience this live? Yes. Come on. I can't believe this. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. This band is uh, Pink Floyd is beyond amazing. I just can't. Yes. Encore. Standing ovation, that's right. Yes. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Listen to that crowd. Oh my gosh. That's... Pink Floyd. You know, you can hear this song on the radio numerous times, and it's always good, but to see something like that, a live performance like that, um, that is mind-blowing, and really, ahead, they, uh, I have so many good things to say about Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd was a game changer in rock and roll and, and in their sound. It was it was just I don't know, is talk about musical journey. Pink Floyd from start to finish, their entire catalog, their songs in order, it takes you on a journey. And again, were any of you guys that are watching this channel, have you guys been to this concert? Do you know anybody who went to this concert? Because that would have been so oh my god gosh that would have been so cool you know like back to the future <laughs> it's like one of my favorite movies because i'm i always grew up wanting to like see things back in the day and like i don't know it would have been cool to be 
not a child in 94 but like a full-grown adult and make the decision of like yes i am gonna go see pink floyd comfortably numb 1994 performance at london earl's court and have my mind blown absolutely good oh i love me some pink floyd guys i want to fill in tons of posters all around me i want to get a vibe going in here because i want it all to be music i love music love her music I have nothing but good things to say about Pink Floyd, Roger Ro Ro Roger Waters, and the whole gang. The guy, it, the band is just, I mean, they're just, they're just mind-blowing. Song, and the reason why, you know, it being written is that Roger Waters wasn't feeling well before a show, I forget what show they were performing in, in the United States, I believe, at the, it was somewhere like Philadelphia? Austin, I'm not sure, but I think it was a show that they were going to go do in Philadelphia. And I believe, as the story, as I have heard of it, is that um, he had some sort of stomach issues or he wasn't feeling well. Then uh, Roger Waters went to go see the doctor, and the doctor gave him, like, uh, I guess, a sedative, um, gave him some medicine. Or they gave him a uh, sedative. I think it was a sedative they gave him, and it really kind of just jacked with him, and he couldn't play. And the part where it says, um, "to like like two toy balloons," I think that was referring to his hands and how he felt, and he really was unable to kind of focus on the song. But I think it was that's how the story goes of what the song is about. Um, it's, it's a masterpiece. Pink Floyd, their whole entire catalog is a masterpiece. It's insane. I think Roger Waters is 77 now, I think. It's just insane, you know. Just 70s had a whole different sound of rock, and I absolutely loved it. It had, like, multiple sounds of different rock, and you had rock pioneers coming out at, around this time. But, you know, guys... It's it just Pink Floyd, awesome, great, good, badass. But anyways, before I go, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys out there. This was another good request and a great, great live, great live performance. Mind-blowing. Wish I was there. Dang it. But uh, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me and hanging out and listening to some good music and just chilling. And if you hadn't yet, go, guys, go ahead and follow me at Instagram if you want to see a little bit more of me. <laughs> if you hadn't yet, hit hit that subscribe button also guys don't forget to hit the notification bells i don't know if you guys are getting notified if i um upload videos it, to me in some of the comments in the comments it seems like um you're not seeing my videos pop up but if you are subscribed please do hit the notification bell also guys comment down below let's talk about some pink floyd in that comment section i will see you guys there and i'll see you in instagram as well i'll see you next time my name is sky bye